we're going to look at calculating Schwarz shield radius for supermassive black holes. We're going to specifically look at the Milky Way galaxy. We're given that the supermassive black hole of a Milky Way galaxy is around 4 million solar masses. Our goal is to find the Schwarz shield radius in units of A meters, B kilometers, CAU, and D solar radius. Our conversions were given is that 1,000 meters and 1 kilometer, 1.496 E8 kilometers is equal to 1 AU, 497600 kilometers is equal to 1 solar radius, and 1 solar mass is equal to 2 times 10 to the 30th kilograms. We're given the Schwarzschild radius equation, R sub S is equal to 2 GM C to the minus 2, where G is equal to 6.67 E minus 11 meters cubed kilogram to the minus 1 second to the minus 2, or 6.67 E minus 11 newton meter squared kilogram to the minus 2, and C is equal to 3 E 8 meters per second. So we're given the Schwarzschild radius, and that is 2 GM over C squared, where G is the universal gravitational constant, M is mass, and C is speed of light. So I've already set up the base equation calculation for us. So we have 2 in the numerator, multiply it by 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, we're given 6.67 e minus 11, so e means multiply by 10 and the exponent is minus 11. And I chose the base units of meter cubed kilogram to the minus 1 second to the minus 2. So we have meter cubed, kilogram is in the denominator, and it's kilogram to the 1, or kilogram. Second is in the denominator, so it says second to the minus 2, so in the denominator it's second squared. Multiply by 4 million, we're given a mass, per m, we're given a mass of 4 million, and so we have 4 times 10 to the 6 to make it a million solar masses, and we have to convert out of solar masses, so I went ahead and put one solar mass is equal to 2 times 10 to the 30th kilograms. And that makes 2 gm in the numerator, and now we need to put c squared in the denominator. Since our base units are meters, kilograms, seconds, we have to make sure our c is also expressed in the same units. So we choose 3 times 10 to the 8th, because we're given c is equal to 3e8. So it's 3 times 10 to the 8th, and the units are meters per second, and the entire thing is squared. So let's calculate the numerator. We want to first take 2 and multiply it by 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th. So let's go to our Google calculator. We take 2 and we multiply it by 6.67 e minus 11. And we hit the equal sign. So now we have our value, 1.334 times 10 to the minus 10th. So we did this first part. Now we want to multiply 4 times 10 to the 6. So let's go back, hit multiply 4e6, and we hit equal. And we have a value of 0.0005336. So now we want to multiply 2 times 10 to the 30th. So we go back to our calculator, and we multiply by 2e 30th, and we hit the equal sign. We have a value of 1.0672e to the positive 27. Next thing it says is divide by 1, but if we divide by 1, we get the exact same thing. You can try that out. Divide by 1, you get the exact same value. Then it says to divide by 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, the entire quantity squared. So since the entire quantity is squared, we must also put the parentheses in the denominator. So we hit divide by and there's that parentheses, because we want to divide, and there's our parentheses, 3 times 10 to the 8th, we put that in there, 3e8, and then we have our 3e8, and it's squared, so I want to square it, so I put x to the y squared, and close our parentheses, and hit enter. Now notice I put the square inside the parentheses because if I put it outside the parentheses, it may not give me the exact same answer. So I would go ahead and put it inside the parentheses in this case. And I get this very large number, 
1185777777. So we have a very large number. Let's take a look at our significant digits. We've got two here. That's 2.0 or two, and that's considered two digits. We have 6.67 here, that's three digits. We've got a four, which is 4.0 or two digits. We've got a two here, which is 2.0, two digits. And we've got a one, which is 1.02 digits. And we've got a three, which is a 3.02 digits. The smallest number of digits is two. So we want to retain two. So we've got 1.1, but this eight, this next number is greater than five. So it kicks this one up to two. So we have an answer of 1.2. And we have to count the number of decimal places. We've got three, six, nine, 10. 1 1.2 times 10 to the 10th is our answer. So it's 1.2, and you can put an E here, 10, or you can put 1.2 times 10 to the 10th. So I'll put them both here, your choice. 1.2 times 10 to the 10, which is the same thing as 1.2 E10. Now I just have to get the units. So let's take a look at the top. Let's see what we can get rid of here right away. So we have a kilogram here in the denominator and we have a kilogram up here in the numerator. We've got a solar mass in the numerator which cancels with the solar mass in this denominator. And we're left with a meter cubed and a second squared in the top. So let's go ahead and put that in. So we've got a meter cubed and we've got a second squared in the denominator. Now in this denominator, We've got a meter and we have to square it. So I'm just gonna put a one down here because this is all in the, de in the denominator. So we have our meter and we have to square it. And that's divided by our second and that is also squared. The meter gets squared and the second gets squared. So if I just chose a different value, that meter goes to there and that second squared goes to there, so you have an idea. Now let's see what we can cancel. Well, this meter squared cancels with the meter cubed to make it a one. Meter to the one is just a meter, and then we still have a second squared and a second squared. So we have a second squared here, and we have a second squared here. Since we have a one divided by meter squared divided by second squared, the second squared actually gets kicked up to the top. So I'll just go ahead and put it up there. And this gives us a second squared at the top. And then this second squared cancels with this second squared. So we're just left with a meter to the one and our unit is ex exactly what we expected as meters. And I can put it up here too. All those units cancel to meters. But since we already have a meter up there, let's not confuse it. There's our meter right there. So our value is, our answer is 1.2 times 10 to the 10th meters, and that is our Schwarzschild radius. So now we want to convert this into kilometers to get us our answer for B. So B wants the Schwarzschild radius in units of kilometers. So Schwarzschild radius is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the 10th, or 1.2 E10. And then our units is meters, and we need to convert out of meters. We're given our conversion, but before we put our conversion in, we need a railroad track. Our conversion is up here. It says 1,000 meters is in a kilometer. So I want my meters to cancel, so I'm gonna put my meter down here at the bottom. And I know that my number goes with it, 1,000 and I'm going to put a kilometer in the top. Once again, we're just going to cancel units. So I have my meter cancels with my meter, and then the only thing I have is kilometers in the top. So I'll put my kilometer answer here. So I have 1.2 E10 divided by 1,000. So I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and divide by 1,000, and then round. So we know this is 1.2, and our number of digits are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1.2 times 10 to the 7th. 
Well, that makes sense. I've got 3 down here, and I've got 10 up here. 10 minus 3 would make 7. So the answer is 1.2. And I'll go ahead and put my 10 in this case, times 10 to the seventh. And then my answer is kilometers. And that's my short shell radius. So let's squeeze that all in there. Kilometers. And let's make that our short shell radius and put a box around it. The next one they want us to convert. In C now, let's go back to black. C wants to know the short shield radius. C in terms of AU. We have a conversion here, and our conversion is kilometers to AU. So I'm going to go ahead and use my answer here for kilometers, and that is 1.2 times 10 to the seventh kilometers. Ten to the seventh kilometers, and I want to build my railroad track. I know I want kilometers in the denominator, and I want AU in the numerator. So let's go look at our conversion again. One AU is in the numerator, so I put a one up here, and then I've got this 1.496E8. So one, I'm just going to round it up, 1.5 E8 1.5 E8, well that's terrible. I'll erase that and draw it again. Put an 8 in there. Okay, 1.5. So I have our value here, 1.2 E7. We want to divide by 1.5 E8. Divide by 1.5 E8, and we get a value of 0.079. So that's going to equal 0 0.079. Oh, 0.079. And let's go cancel out our units. Kilometers cancels out with kilometers, and we're left with AU at the top. And so we're just going to use AU here, and that's going to equal our short shell radius. And we put a box around it. Let's go find part D. We want to find now the short shield radius but we want to find it in terms of solar radius. We're given a conversion from kilometers to solar radius, so let's go back and use our same answer that we had for kilometers, 1.2 times 10 to the seventh kilometers, but now we want to build our railroad track because we need to convert out of kilometers into solar radius. So we'll build our railroad track we know we want kilometers in the denominator. Let's go find out how many kilometers are in one solar radius. So we have a conversion of 497600. So we put that in the denominator, 497600. And now we need one in the numerator for our conversion. And then we want to find out what this answer is. Let's go ahead and cancel some units first. Kilometers cancels with kilometers. And now we want to get to our answer. We have an extra one over here. Let's erase it. Okay. So now let's multiply this out. So we have 1.2 times 10 to the seventh divided by 497600. So let's go to our calculator, bring our calculator up. 
So let's put our answer in here, which is 1.2 E7. 1.2 E7 divided by, and we have 497600. 497600 equals, and we have an answer of 24.1, or roughly 24. So we'll just leave it as 24. So our answer is 24 solar radii. And that is our short shield radius. So let's go take a look at our answers. I'm going to put a box around this first. So let's go up and look at our answers. We have a first answer of 1.2 times 10 to the 10th meters, which is really large, but we really don't have a physical concept of how big that is. We converted it to kilometers, and we have an answer 1.2 times 10 to the 7th kilometers. But once again, we really don't have an idea of how big that number is. We tried AU, and now we're down to 0.08 AU, but how big is that? We know it's some, somewhere between the distance of the sun and Mercury, but it doesn't really give us a physical amount of distance. Now we put it in terms of solar radii. Now we got something here. So it's about 24 times larger than the sun. So it's about the size of a larger star or a medium-sized star. So it's not significantly huge that we contain this, all this mass, form about 4 million solar masses within this radius, about 24 times the radius of the sun. So the Schwarzschild radius for galaxies is on the order of solar radii, and it's a small number, but we have a lot of mass within this fairly small number of solar radii.